Hello and welcome to another Back is Home Group video. So, a bit of a late video, but it's already gone 10 o'clock. Um, it is what it is on that side of things. So, I'm doing a Magnum wine kit tonight. It's the rose version, medium dry rose, 1.7 kilos, makes 30 bottles of superb wine within 14 days. So, we'll take the lid off. And uh, obviously in the lid, you've got your finings, as you always do. You've got your stabiliser, finings clear the wine, stabiliser stops it from fermenting. So at the moment, we're not even worried about them. Um, got the yeast, which you're going to chuck in at 23 litres. And again, we're not really worried about that at the moment. So I'm boiling the kettle. Quickly get the kettle up. Got my fermentation bucket here already sterilised and cleaned and whatnot. So, get rid of this dirty knife. Get a clean knife just to pop open the lid. Do. There we go, there's the uh, syrupy stuff. Chuck that in. Chuck in the first. Now obviously we want to clean, when you think about it, we want all the juice out of the, uh, and it's pretty clean already to be fair. Two and a half kettlefuls of water. So I put the second kettleful on now. Chuck that on. Second kettle. Uh, this already it's pretty clean to be fair. We'll we wash the. Uh, So, we'll just give it a swirl round, make sure there's no malt or wine extract, whatever you want to call it, in there. Put that there out of the way. Chuck this in, and uh, obviously always wearing hot. Oh, no. Look at that, pristinely clean, and it's hot. So for God's sake, don't burn yourself. Yeah, as I nearly just did. So, there, there. We can get rid of the tin openers now, back into the cupboard out of the way. Uh, so we need. That can go away. Right, kettle's boiling. Four bags of sugar are now going in. First, second, last time I brewed this was probably about eight years ago, eight, nine years ago, I was still at Sainsbury's the last time I brewed it and I left Sainsbury's in 2015. So that was nine years ago. So this is going to be 10 or 11 years ago since the last brew this. So, four bags of sugar. Now's the time to stir it. Get it stirred around, get rid of the sugar. And the 
thing is with this sugar, it brings the temperature down so much from it. Um, To be fair, now the 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 wine extract is like a syrup. Um, to be fair, where I can, it's now. I've gone round, got rid of the sugar where I can. The only problem is the, the heating element is in the way on this. You wouldn't normally get that on a normal fermentation cooking. So that's interesting. Um, so this is the second kettle going in. There's another half a kettle full going after this. If in doubt, stick to the uh, instructions because the instructions are probably better than my instructions. But it just goes to show you how easy it is to make wine. And it's literally 20 minutes this end, bar the cleaning initially of the actual ferment fermenter. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. So. Get that out. So yeah, certainly didn't mean to drop the fucking lid in, the, in, in it. Right, half a kettle full now. The lid's been cleaned, that's on. And there we go. So I'll give it another swirl. And yeah, there's there's no sugar in this there or anything. So I'm I'm both gonna fill with hot water and cold water to get to 23 litres. So And this makes a nice twelve or thirteen percent rose wine. So you know it will knock your socks off. going there, you know, we're, we're already nearly on 19. And this time, I'll make sure the lid, the lid don't come off. So, I'm aiming between half the way between 20, 20 and 25. A little bit more, about a half of it. And 
And there we go. That's round about 23 litres. I'm going to chuck the yeast. I'm going to give it a stir first, rather. Um, chuck the yeast in. There's the yeast. And... Uh, oh. That's going to take as, as long as it needs, probably a week or two to be fair. And then you've got um, finings to put in for it to clear. But there you go. And that is Magnum Rosé wine. One of the, the cheapest wine kit on the market. And it's super bloody easy to, to brew. Um, really easy. And that's it. It's took me 11 minutes. That's ridiculous. But... Uh, that's at some speed, mind you. But thank you for watching. See you soon.